Good everyone, B Agent Dad here. We're going to have a look at this A10 US 3342 two port USB C sharing switch. Now, as a first disclaimer, A10 did send this product for me for review, but I am under no obligation or under their influence. So, all the opinions are actually of my opinions after the testing of this product here. Now, I also want to make sure to let you know that I've actually not new to A10. I've actually used their products before in the past and I'm still currently am because I've actually used their KVM switches and I've got to say they're very good quality products uh, for the KVM switches and they're actually very old and they're still working to today and they have not missed a beat. And so this product here, this two port switch is no exception to that as well. It is very good quality product I've got to say. Uh, it's made of mostly just metal and you can feel it's actually very very solid here so definitely very good quality build for this one here I'm pretty impressed now it's actually hard to explain what this can do so I'm just gonna demonstrate it right now for you first off what comes in the box of course you get the US 3342 unit itself and you also get two USB C cables now these are USB 3.2 gen 2 cables and they are a one meter in length uh, as you go so it's quite long which is really nice and you also get this remote port switcher as well too and this is about 1.8 meters so that's actually quite a nice good length here and it pretty much all plugs into this here now this port switch can also do pass through power and you actually part, plug that into it and now it doesn't come with a power adapter you actually have to use your one of your laptop power adapters and plug it into here so it is USB-C and it is got a um, capability of up to 85 watts pass through power to a laptop so that's kind of neat there i've got to say so it usually should be able to do most laptops uh, if you've got a really powerful laptop that actually uses more than 85 watts then it will be mostly on slow charge if you've got something that's got really powerful like the 170 or above then you probably still need to plug in your power adapter for your supply computer here so this one does not only just do your computer it also does other devices i've actually plugged this into a mobile phone as well and it's actually quite neat to actually be able to do it now this is mac and pc compatible so that's really cool let's have a little port starting in the front we got three usb 3.2 gen 2 ports now these are usb a ports and then we got one usb 3.2 gen 2 now this is usb c looking at the back we've got two usb 3.2 gen 2 ports now these are usb c ports and these are where you plug in the supply USB 3.2 Gen 2 cables for one for each computer or device that you're going to connect it to and then we have the USB C port now this is where you plug in your power adapter in here so you can actually pass through power to your devices and then we've got the port for the remote switch I'm going to demonstrate what the US 3334 can do now I'll just quickly show you what I've got plugged in so I've got the remote control switcher here plugged into the back I've got the power adapter for one of these x13 laptops plugged into the power port here I've got a USB which is the Thunderbolt 3 cable plugged into this x13 USB C port here so this is going to be device number one so as you can match up there and device number two is connected to the Thunderbolt 3 cable is connected to this x13 now just to give you a quick note while i'm going to tell i've got this x13 which is a intel i5 so this one actually has a thunderbolt port here and this is the x13 with the amd so this one does not have thunderbolt this is just running off usb 3.2 gen 2 port so just to give you a little note there so i'm actually testing pretty much everything of this and then i've got a wireless keyboard and mouse connected to one of the usb type a port here and of course with the led light is indicating which device you're currently controlling so at the moment it's on number one so at the moment you'll see i'm controlling number one and of course i've got the keyboard here as well too now if i do press the switch just give it like half a second and you'll see now i'm actually controlling device number two which is and in this case is a laptop as well too so i've got the keyboard as well too as you can see so that's pretty easy to do you can actually switch between these two there and it does work with thunderbolt or non-thunderbolt 
just as long as you've got USB-C, as you can see. Now, the other thing is, what's really cool is, you can actually install this thing called the Bezel X, which you actually download from A10. And this then actually brings out even more power to this sort of server here. So I've now got it installed ready on both these two computers. So you do need to install this on both computers here. Now I'm just gonna quickly go to number one, just to quickly show you what it does. So once you install it, and then just make sure you boot up the Bezel X, and that's quickly, you can just click that and Bezel X there, and it will actually lay in the system tray down here. Now, what you can do is just right click on it, and you can actually see the monitor arrangement. And what happens is, it's easier to actually put this in the correct order. Now, what this really does is, at the moment, I've got it set to this one, is set on the left-hand side, and that one is set to the right-hand side. Now, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm actually going to now, move my cursor over to the right and I'm actually now controlling the right side of the computer now. Uh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So I'm just gonna again, move my cursor over to the left and now I'm actually controlling this computer straight up from there. That's pretty sweet. So again, where the cursor where so I've got, the, I've got the keyboard on this side, I'm gonna move the cursor to the right hand side. Now my keyboard's on the right hand side. That is pretty sweet. Now, not only can you do that, you can also drag and drop a file over here. As you can see, I'm straight away copying that file from that computer to this computer here through the Thunderbolt and it's pretty quick now this is a 3.4 gig so that is pretty quick like again like I said this is a USB 3.2 gen 2 port and this is using Thunderbolt port now if you had two Thunderbolts it's even gonna be even quicker than what this is currently at so it is still very quick to actually copy files here so that's pretty sweet there you can actually transfer files through the system here and just move your mouse across here. Now what I found really interesting is if my, when you've got the bezel X, uh, of course you don't really need to use the switch anymore once you've got that bezel X, but you've got the switch if you don't have bezel X. But what's really interesting is where the mouse cursor is laying, it will also control from the other computer here. So I was just wondering if that was really interesting that whatever the cursor is, now only Bezel X will do this. If you don't have Bezel X installed, it won't actually do this where this computer will be taking over that computer here. And again, if I move this over here, you can see this computer is now moving on that side there. So that's really sweet of what Bezel X can do. Now I've seen other softwares that can do this and really that relies on Wi-Fi and it's really shaky, shaky where this is actually a cable connection and it is quick and I like it. Or again, you can also switch down to this one here so you can quickly overtake with the hardware commands there, which is fantastic as well. Now, one thing I might want to make a mention is, I've also noticed with the power, now this does do pass-through power. Now, the pass-through power will only go through pass-through power of port one, so the device one. Uh, so at the moment, it is currently only this one here is charging. The second one here is not charging at all. So that's not the, I've actually tried that out. Uh, even plugging that it will only charge through device one. The US 3342 is also Mac compatible. Now this is a 2018 MacBook Pro with an Intel chip and I've updated to Big Spur as well. And it's also got the touch bar as well. Now after you install Bezel X on the Mac, you also need to just to make sure in system preferences, security and privacy in the privacy tab, just make sure you see the Bezel X software. Just make sure there is a tick there just so it actually authorizes to allow Bezel X work on this computer here because it is controlling some of your computer here, of course. So as you can see, I'm just gonna demonstrate. So there's the mouse there and I'm just gonna move it to the right. And again, you'll see the mouse is moving over here. Now again, you can also copy files between the two systems. As you can see, it's pretty easy. Now I have tested this out on the M1 MacBook Air and also MacBook Pro. And unfortunately, there seems to be an issue with the software. It just needs to be updated. I have contacted ATAN regarding about the Bezel X software running on the M1 chip. And hopefully it's just a matter of just an update of that software and it will then be able to work fully properly. Till then, you can just use the port switcher. So you can actually move the computer between very quickly. So that's really nice to see. So of course you can go there. And I'll support switch and I can press start. So still, you can still use the back away turn until Bezel X has been uploaded. I plugged in a Thunderbolt 3 NVMe external hard drive to the USB type C at the front of the A10 US 3342 and did a performance test of the hard drive on the data transfer 
and also then plugged it in to directly to the Thunderbolt 3 port on the computer. I found that the US 3342 is limited to the 3.2 Gen 2 speeds. I tested this on a number of computers and again they all came the same results. So the data transfer is pretty much on USB 3.2 Gen 2 speeds so it's not Thunderbolt 3 speeds that you're looking at for the USB Type-C port at the front. I've also tested this on USB 3 hard drive and again there's no difference between it connecting to the computer directly or to the US 3342. Now one of the tests I wanted to do was about this USB-C port at the front. We actually wanted to see if it's able to drive an external monitor. So currently I've got this external monitor connected to this docking station which is through the display port so I'm just going to quickly demonstrate this through this one here so this is a docking station it is powered up so I'll just connect that to this X13 and you'll see that far up at the moment so there we go hopefully that will then just duplicate that there yep we've got a duplication there so you can see there so it is driving that there so I want to have a look if I'm going to actually plug this into the USB C port at the front of this US3342. So I've got here now it plugged in and it's not really detecting that at all. So that is still, it's not even charging it neither. I don't expect it to charge because it should be coming through here, but it's not charging that and we don't actually have the display port now. This is a well try a different sort of adapter i'm going to try a few adapters here so the next adapter i'm going to try again will be a powered one so this one does pass through power and i'll just connect that port here and we'll just again try and plug this into here now this port just this adapter is giving me a whole bunch of different other ports as well too so i can see it says display connection might be limited and i really don't have any ability to see it come through at all so there's nothing there and it still not won't come and detect it at all so there's still no detection of the display port that doesn't work so that's through so first off is a power dock and this is a pass-through power and let's try one that's not any powered at all so this is the DA300 again I'll plug this cable into this adapter and it provides me more ports and ways but just to try to see we can actually again I've got the same error here and it's not actually driving the external monitor just to let you know that the USB-C port at the front will not drive monitors at all but will I still even be able to get the Ethernet port here let's have a quick look I did try this earlier and I do know that the Ethernet port will be working there for us so let's have a quick look at that and again i see two ethernet ports which is great to see uh, so that's definitely it working there through there so if i unplug this it's gone there which is good to see so it is detecting the ethernet port through here now what's really interesting is when you actually do the switch of the, having an ethernet plugged in and you do and do the switch it will actually switch the ethernet to the other computer at the exact same time as well so all the devices as you switch to the other computer or anything that's connected will switch to the other one as well and testing out the heat of the us3342 i've been running this copy test for the last 20 minutes or so and it really hasn't heated up at all it's actually barely made any difference in heat wise for this device which is absolutely great to see Overall, I think this is a fantastic product and that's a heartfelt fantastic as well too. I've been using this product for nearly two weeks here and I really do like this product here. Now, I can definitely see this being very useful in a numerous situations. Now, one of the situations I can think of straight off is if you're working from home, you've got a work computer that you've been given and of course you've got your personal computer as well. This is a great way to connect 
the two together using your own one set of peripherals, especially if you get a, a work laptop. And a lot of times, a lot of work computers, you actually don't have ministry rights, so you can't really install anything. So, and this is one you can still use, go back to the remote switches, but we can switch the peripherals to between the two computers. And if you actually have ministry rights, you can install the Bezel X, and then you'll be able to transfer files. It makes it even easier, or even just switch between the two very quickly without having to do the switching there. So I think this is actually great in that situation. The other situation, which is more towards what I do, which is support computers. And I've got many times where I've actually had computers sitting and I've given to me to actually fix and the laptop has really grubby sort of and really dirty keyboards. And I usually have to wipe it down or in the trackpad as well too. Or sometimes it's that bad that I actually connect the external USB keyboard and mouse. Uh, whereas this one is really could be in there where I actually have this connected to my computer anyway. And then I have the other port connect table connect to the computer I'm trying to fix and I don't have to even touch or clean the other computer and I can just reuse my clean keyboard and mouse all the time and then I can also install Bezelworks and then I can then drag all the files that need to fix that computer here. So I find this product absolutely great for IT support. Now the one thing I do wish this, this port actually had was more USB ports for the switching uh, too, which is nice, but I usually have to fix about two to three computers at a time. Uh, so I can see the ID department doing the exact same thing. So I'd like to actually see them make a four port cable switch version of this one here, because then we can actually use it even more power can actually fix a few things because of, so I like this product and I wish they actually had a bigger version of it. So definitely, I can definitely recommend this product here for sure. If you find this video informative or even just to support my channel, find that little like button and then just go click happy on it as well. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button on the bottom of the screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfection in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.